All right, y'all, how's it going today? Today, we're gonna be working on the S10. We're gonna be doing some headlights and maybe giving y'all a little bit of an overview of the truck. Uh, this is the first video, really, of the S10. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna show y'all how to put some headlights in an S10 today. Hope y'all enjoy. Okay, so I got the headlight bezels out and we got our screws here. I don't, I think only one goes in each, but I'm pretty sure it goes in right here. And that's how you, or that's how you can adjust the uh, screw in for the, oh, I just dropped it for the headlight. Uh, right there. Trying to figure out how to put these in right. I think they go in like this. You just sit in there like that. And that's how you put it in there. You just push it in. And let's grab a headlight. Uh, don't know how this goes. run back here to my parts pile real quick where I took the front clip apart. Oh, uh, we got a spring. Mm. Those aren't my parts. So we got one spring it looks like. Let's see what we can do with that. Maybe I have to put in a diagram. Okay, so we are going to take this headlight bucket apart and I had to order one because dummy me threw it away and it was still on the old headlight and I didn't think I need it. So I had to order one from the parts store, but we are gonna get this one took apart and get it sandblasted. So let me go get some tools and we will get this took apart. Okay, so we did have to break out some vice grips to get it loose and some lubrication, some Kroll oil, not sponsored. And now these things will come out just fine so we can get this headlight bucket sandblasted. And yeah, so we're gonna get these took out. All right, so we got the headlight bezel apart. Now. Looks pretty rough inside, as you can see. It's kind of rusty. That's why we're gonna sandblast it. The only thing concerning me is that little broke off part right there. But I think it'll be okay, if I'm not mistaken, which the other side's like that too, so it might be how it's made. We might also try and polish up this some with some polish. Make it look a little bit better because I have a new one coming for the other side and we want them to match. But yeah, so let's go get to sandblasting. Come on, put this in the machine. Both of them. All right, y'all. 
channel so we've kind of, kind of had a lot of technical difficulties this video i ran out of storage maybe and so i went ahead and sandblasted the headlight bezel as you can see inside and out and got all the rust off of it and now we're going to paint it so yeah we're going to lay first coat on kind of heavy which is what i always do i normally don't get run and plus it's not going to be seen so all right y'all here's the second coat paint dry on the first and the headlight bezel came in so we're going to go open that up and check it out Alright, so thanks to Napa, not sponsored, but we got some new headlight bezel here. Ooh, and it comes with hardware to screw it all together. And get this open, not scratch it up too much. Mm, the new chrome bezel is bent. I don't know if you can see that. It is not rectangular shaped. Might have to fix that. Compared to the old one. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's not the straightest. So I'm going to have to fix this one. But yeah. And the new headlight bezel is actually really nice. So we'll get to work on putting this together and get it put in. So we're gonna have to put the headlight in like this, set it down there, and then I'll set this on the ground and take the new bezel and this one up. I'll straighten it out like that and it's already messing up the chrome. So it's not the best of quality, but I guess it works. And that goes on there like this. It holds it in. That's what I was running into earlier when I said I'd have to have a diagram. Because I didn't think that it had this. And stupid me threw it away. So we had to get a new one. And we're going to use the hardware they sent. And bolt it in. Okay, Napa, so I have to say your headlight bezel quality is pretty crappy. I'm going to give it a rating of about 2.5 out of 10 because I don't know if you see these tabs right here, but to get them in, to get the screws in, I don't know if you can see it very well, but right here where the screws go in, it almost has to break, almost has to break the metal to get it to go through there. And it's like really, really tight. And that was kind of this one struggle to get it on. And the bezel isn't the greatest of quality. It's really cheap. And plus, because it says China right there, makes it really bad. But I guess it works. And it'll probably work on the S10 pretty good. We're going to try and get these put in now. And y'all can watch me struggle again. So we're gonna use the new hardware we got also to be sure we hold it down, I guess you could say. And this is gonna take a while. It's gonna screw it through there. Well, let me figure this out and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back and the rating on this just went down even more. I'm gonna give it about a two out of ten because these clips right here, I don't know if they're supposed to be really tight. 
but I had to hammer this screw in there to get it in between those two prongs right there so that it will screw in. But I guess it works and we're gonna start installing the new headlights. So it looks like it might clip in, but I'm gonna have to push on really hard. And we don't wanna break it. I wonder. This holds it in. Doesn't stay in very well. I think something's supposed to hold it at the top. I may have to go grab like a screw, kind of like this one right here, to hold it in up here. I have, I have to be a pretty long screw, and most likely with a washer. So let me go grab one of those real fast, and we'll be back. Okay, so we did have to call the parts store and order two more clips like these right here to go in right here so I can adjust my headlights, which kind of sucks that I have to order more, but it is what it is, I guess. And we'll get that put in and we'll get the bezel put on and I guess we can start working on putting the other one together. So yeah, let me go grab that real fast and we'll be back. Okay, so we got some screws. Let's go ahead and start putting this together. Oh man, that is not. Put this one on. Oh my goodness, this is so much better than the older than the ones I got. Oh, we're gonna right here. And of course, these screws aren't the right size. I'll push it out. Okay, y'all, so I got some more clips from the parts store finally, and I think I've broke like probably six of these putting them in today. So I'm gonna be really gentle. I got this one in, and I'm gonna put all of these in first so that I don't get mad, because I will probably break them again and have to buy more. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and put these in real easy and watch me struggle. You have to like push it in and back, like that, and like that, and now it's in. I don't know if you can see that, right there, and right there. So those are in, and those are what kind of hold the headlight in, and I've got this, I got new bulbs and everything, I've got this just hanging, waiting to go on, and we're going to put the other, the other side in now. Alright, we're going to try this again on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and slide both of these in there, like so. Oh, please don't break. 
Oh, and that one popped out. So those, that one's in. Let's try and get these in now. That one. And. Oh, dang it, I just scratched my core support. Dang. All right, so as you can see, Right there, I guess. Scratch my core support there. But I got the clips in on both, on both sides. And I guess let's start putting the headlights in. So, here we go. Let's try not to mess anything else up. So, Yes, we can adjust that one day once it's running or the lights work okay so let's put these screws back in now just to let y'all know the video quality is not the greatest this is my first real big video and i've got a decent amount of subscribers i've been doing this youtube thing for a while now but i'm trying where'd my screws go this back on there. okay so we got one headlight put in now we're gonna go to the other side doesn't look too bad actually those headlights i mean they're kind of expensive i don't know i don't remember the price right off the top of my head but they were the better quality headlight that the parts store sold one day i might put leds in it but yeah so let's go on to this side now i'm gonna go get the headlight bezel one two That's good how it's set. Okay, so I put the headlight in upside down, but I got it fixed now. So let's go ahead and get this screw in. Turn this off and into a half a day job. I guess that's what happened in the rush. Maybe I'll have to put some kind of like zip tie on it or something. But... No, it sounds junky, but I have to put a zip tie on it to 
This one's like that, but the other one's not. Hmm. It's a headlight. Let's see how it holds. All right, y'all. So thank y'all for watching. And hope y'all enjoyed watching me struggle with putting headlights in my S10. But hopefully this will teach some of y'all or some of y'all that don't even care. Just to show y'all how to put headlights in an S10 and how to not struggle so you know how to do it. And yeah, but I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos that are coming out for y'all soon. And I hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all in the next one.